Hello, welcome to a new video. I want to show you in this video how to check the distance between basically any elements that as a location will retrieve the point. And those elements are uh, basically all the elements except uh, installations like duct, uh, cable tray or pipe. So if you are placing, I don't know, uh, some equipment or if you are placing some electrical device, uh, diffusers or anything, uh, those elements uh, will, uh, as a location, have a point. And then this script is able to uh, measure the distance between those elements. And then if you say that you have some preferred distance, some minimal distance, which need to be between those elements, then the script can highlight the elements which have a distance less than what you defined. So over here we have spl uh, sprinkler heads as a sample element and uh, distance between them is four meters right now but uh, usually in the building you don't have uh, like some proper uh, or uniform um, like placement of the elements you will have a lot of different situations that you need to cover especially uh, especially with the sprinklers so uh, it can happen that you have some good arrangement of the elements and some element is over here. And then we need to see if the distance between the elements is, for example, two meters or one meter or five meters, whatever you have as a rule, uh, depending on uh, which equipment we want to check. So, so before we jump uh, to the script, when you click on the script, you can see uh, what inputs uh, you have over here. So you can select any category and uh, this is a distant radius. So in order to check the distance between the elements, the script will create a circle and over here we need to define the radius. So if you want to check the distance between the elements, for example, two meters, like a total distance, then the radius is one meter. Over here units are uh, millimeters. Also, it can happen that uh, some element uh, is on, uh, let's click over here. So over here we have this sprinkler head um, at a height of three meters, uh, because we did copy over here, we have uh, the sprinkler head on the same height, but uh, the script will allow you to take into account some range for the height. So it will also work perfectly fine if you have 50 millimeters uh, difference in the height because over here we did set that uh, the height range will be 100 millimeters and okay let's run the script so the script did find that those uh, elements are uh, in this range of two meters and we can measure that So it is less than two meters uh, and those elements uh, are now in this green color. And now if we move this element to be like 200, 2100, for example, and let's also move that up, something like that. And we can run the script again, run. So now the script, uh, did reset the color, it did run the check again, and now those elements are not uh, in that range that we defined. If we, uh, if we increase the range, if we say that everything which is in the five meter uh, distance uh, should be colored, should be highlighted, then if we run the script, all elements now uh, in that range so again if we decrease that range if we say one meter and 500 millimeters now everything is clear again so uh, it is good that if you have some rules for the minimum distance uh, you you can type it over here so basically this is whatever you have divided with two and this is also uh, regarding the height range over here even if we again take close this element to this element over here, 
and if we change the height so this element is at 3 meters let's set that this will be at 2.8 now if we run the script nothing will happen why because those two elements are not in this height range if we increase this now those elements uh, will be in that range where uh, we are checking uh, that minimum uh, distance between the elements and that is it so now uh, let's see the script the script it's pretty simple so okay uh, we want to pick up all the elements uh, that are in our active view so we did choose category of the sprinklers and we did define the active view uh, and at first we want to reset uh, whatever is uh, written for those elements so if you did spot if you already have highlighted elements and then you did resolve them so you did move those elements for example like this and now we want to run the script so at first we will reset their colors and then we will perform the check if those elements are still in the defined range we will again set that color so that is why we will at first reset the color then uh, we want to retrieve the location of the elements and uh, when you want to retrieve the location of the devices it will be the points as we did say we will create a circle uh, with a defined radius and we will extrude those elements for the defined range then we will check all the elements uh, one versus all the other elements and we will find uh, if elements uh, does intersect with the others then we will pick up all true values and then we will count if we have uh, for these true values because always uh, one device will intercept with itself basically so if you have situation when where you have true values um, for more than one device then over here we will have a true value we will use a filter and then we will filter only the elements which intercept with some other devices and then we will color them into the green color and that's the entire script thank you for watching bye